Hi everyone, today we're going to go, be going over a short video on how Select and Update works, a beginner's guide to DB2 Intels. Ever wondered what happens inside the DB2 engine when you run a query against it? Uh, do you know how the DB2 is organized so you can exploit that knowledge to make the best use of it? Let's for a moment think of a Java application that wants to find out all the salesmen in an organization. So you would run a query like select star from employee where role equals to sales. What happens from the moment you submit that query and you get a response back from DB2? Let's have a look. Before a query can be executed, your application has to obtain a database connection. Once your application connects to the database, a DB2 agent thread is assigned to the application to act as a proxy to your application within the DB2 engine. Once the DB2 agent receives the query from the application, it begins to start its work. Before the data can be retrieved from the database, the query has to be compiled. This is an expensive operation. In order to improve the performance, the DB2 caches compile statements in the volatile memory in an area called package cache. The DB2 agent, once it receives the query, first looks up in the package cache to see if there's a compiled copy of the query. And if there is one, it uses that compiled query and follows the access plan specified in it. If it does not find a compiled copy, the query is put through a query compiler and an optimizer, and an access plan is generated. This is inserted into the package cache, and the DB2 agent then proceeds by following the steps in the access plan to retrieve the data that satisfies your query and stream them to your application. For performance reason, the DB2 cache of data pages in the volatile memory in regions called buffer pools. Having an adequate amount of buffer pool ensures that disk access times do not dominate the time taken to assemble the data that satisfies the query. Now let us look at what happens when you run the, a query that updates a page in the buff pool. Going back to our example, consider that employee John is promoted to be the director of sales. The query might look like update employee set role equals to director where name equals to John. Once the DB2 agent receives this update statement, it locates the data page that needs modification obtains necessary logs and proceeds to modify the data page. But before the data page is modified, a log record that describes the update operation is written to the log buffer. At commit time, a commit log record is also written and is flushed to the disk. The commit call returns only after ensuring that the log record is in a durable medium. This ensures that even in the event of a power loss where the changes to the data page in the buff pool is lost, the database is able to reconstruct that change from the log records during the crash recovery process. I hope this short video was able to give a brief look at uh, how things work inside DB2. Um, my name is Roy Sissel and I work for the DB2 performance team based in Dublin Software Labs. For more fascinating details on the DB2 internals, please visit the IDEC website and look for my presentation at IDEC. Please stay tuned for more interesting videos on the DB2 internals. Thanks for watching.